Mars, Vinny, just down the list. He has been adding another head to his resume at every tournament he goes to, and he's he's looking to be at an all-time high now. I remember I first met him at Legend of Glen Tendo, a, a New Jersey regional, and he got fourth at that, that tournament, yeah. being a lot of stacked names. So this this should be a pretty crazy set. I will not sleep on him in teams. He's teaming with Unknown, who's also a Jersey PR player. Oh, yeah, Unknown's here too. Wow, this yeah, is yeah. So this is it's a stacked event. Try State came through. Try State came. All right, so we do. I do not okay. see the so, Ralphie Cloud. <laughs> oh, so Cloud is banned also at the tournament. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I learned that quickly last time. Uh, Ralphie told me today he really wanted to play Fox. He's I, going Fox. He's going Fox today. Fox. Yeah. He's got the 18 tag because I believe it's his birthday. Yeah. Too. Our hunger going chic. Yeah. No Corin. You'd be surprised, right? Yeah. New New Tristate just switches up their character pools or whatever top two they feel like play. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, a lot of them are super diverse, and I, I like seeing that though. I like seeing a lot of more interesting characters. We have uh, we haven't seen Sheik today. At least no, not I don't yet. remember. No. You guys, you guys have Kool Aid. I can't think of how many other Sheiks you guys have. Really, so we have Kool Aid and the we have Emerald and I believe Emerald Exiles. right. Wait, um, but besides that, we have very few Sheiks, and we can see right now that these Sheiks do exactly what they're doing. We saw a quick uh, Diamond Cutter combo, super good coming in from Red Team, having a pretty decent lead right now. If there's anything I might know about Ralphie, he's one of the best team's players in the state. Our Hungry also knows Slash himself. I haven't seen too much of uh, Jackal and Unknown play doubles, but Unknown playing Sheik, he's got a very solid Sheik as well. Uh, so I, I will not sleep on any of these characters on the screen round. However, that being said, I don't know how much team's experience Ralphie's Fox has. And I, he's doing well so far, though. He's holding yeah. all the stocks pretty well. I was going to say, I, I think Ralphie's playing more of a supportive Fox. Yeah. Um, he's taken relatively not much percent, considering it's been almost two minutes now. Um, and he still hasn't lost his stock. He's been playing just very passive. Like you see right now, yeah. he's just letting our hungry uh, be the aggressor, throw him to him, and then they just do their little sandwich, you know? And I like that a lot because because Sheik, Sheik is definitely really good at throwing out those moves super quickly and applying that offense. Fox, as a support role, acts as sort of a disruptor. He'll run in with that up smash. He'll just kind of stay back and be able to support, assist with combos here or there, and wrap up those kills with this excellent frame trap. Yes, and as you saw beforehand, um, that was super good on uh, Unknown's Ooh. end, getting that 50-50 DI mix-up. Um, and taking Ralphie's stock, he held that for a very long time. But right now, we're seeing kind of signs, from blue uh, signs of life from the blue team. They're being a lot more composed. Yeah, they, they took they took a minute, but they're they're pulling it together. And like I said, these are all very very skillful. Oh my god, he got not only the spike but the kill off the top. Yeah, yeah that Jack was really odd. He got the spike and the soft. Yeah, seriously, that was top, weird. Top. That was two hit boxes in one. My man, my man went to Mickey D's or something. Got that? Let me get that. Got two for one. Let me get that big yeah. pick too, dude. Yeah, easily gonna take that anytime. I um, mean, right now we saw. Red Ooh. team having it for the most part. Yeah, and no, but now they're now they're yeah. at the, on the back foot. What happened? Jackal woke up. Let me Jackal tell you. woke up. Yeah, he's playing a lot more aggressive than we typically see him in singles. And honestly, that's how I I think Sonic should play. He should either play the stock the stock tank role, or he should just get in there and cause as much chaos as possible. Exactly. And now that we're seeing these signs of life, they're slowing it down. They want to take their time just a little bit to hold on to their stocks. And I completely respect that coming from them, uh, especially Jackal. Jackal does not want to lose his stock right now, especially with all this rage. He can kill Sheik or Fox yeah. right now. thing is, they're going to have a hard time because this is kind of the percentage where Fox and Sheik kind of struggle to get yes. their kills. The confirms honestly don't work as well as they uh, they do with the a little earlier percent. So Jackal can take full advantage of this stock as he does right there, and he takes that stock. Blue team completely completely reversing the situation right now. and he's, I like this a lot because they can just smother our hungry now. Exactly, and you saw the adaption that they took mid-game, and this is a completely different game from just a couple minutes ago. Um, Jackal is doing a really good job being that stock tank, and our hungry being on top, saving Jackal in any situation that he needs to be. And a Sheik comeback right now is going to look really difficult. It's hard. It's, yeah. it's pretty difficult for Sheik to come back, given that she really needs to get a little bit of a setup before her kill. She can hit a stray up air here or there, but against these two characters, she needs to pull a little bit of legwork because she still has stocks to take even after taking these ones. He can make that up, yeah. Yep. Using oh, extended advantage, that was hell? an amazing tech. Um, one was amazing on Unknown's uh, ability to tech it and also our hungry's ability um, to use that extended advantage right there after hit stun. This is looking uh, pretty, like, I can't even see Jackal's yeah. right now because it's so red. Like, this man has been hanging on to that stock for deal life, just yeah. waiting to get that kill. It's more more of just a waiting game at this point. Yeah, 181. Absolutely anything's going to kill right now. Up smash. I think That's it. Yeah. So I was spot up smash. He caught him on the down low. Yeah. I, he he I brushed his head as he flew into the blast zone. Get away! <laughs> Good night, my child. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know what happened. Red team was doing really well. And then you know what? Blue team said, all right, yeah. good morning. It's, time, it's time for breakfast. I think they noticed feast. how defensive Ralphie was playing. Yeah. And then they started smothering Ralphie insanely. Fox is a character, at least from my perspective, when it comes down to doubles, Fox is an amazing character. But the whole point of doubles is get character off stage, yes. sandwich character on stage. And Fox takes a while to yeah, get back takes on stage. Yeah, it takes a little bit. It takes a hot minute. Like he, can get, he can make it back for sure. Yeah. But it takes a bit, especially exactly. if he has Firefox or anything like that. The more time your teammate is off stage, the less of an advantage you're in. And yeah. it just gets worse and worse and worse. And I think that's why, because Jackal was staying on the stage the whole time, didn't even get hit off stage. He was retaining those percents, and any hits onto him were not major enough to knock him off. Exactly. Who and can stay on stage longer will win the game. And you can see Blue Team understood their win condition, and they did so much with it. Oh my god, 20, 38% that was, that was, counting. That's you get a little foot school combo in the middle of it. I want to see what kind of adjustments Red Team is going to make with this counter pick. I definitely agree with it. I, uh, I like what uh, Ralphie was going for there. He was trying to get a quick, fair foot school kill. Barely missing it. The thing with Ralphie is that he's very knowledgeable with this character pick. I know he's had a Fox for a while, but uh, in teams, it's kind of a completely different dynamic than singles. Oh, and without that, a doubt. That can be semi of a liability for your teammate. Yeah, that was a, that was a really bad angle. That was an interesting angle right there. My boy wanted to teach us some geometry real quick. Um, definitely, you know, Smash 4 angles um, are a lot far few from melee. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, so he probably oh, had trying the to, idea. Trying to go for the sweet spot, but uh, he just wasn't there. Was the numbers aren't there, my guy. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Fox players have all done it once, you know. And right now, like I said, you know, we saw Ralphie holding onto those stocks so fast and me confirming that they are going after Ralphie, already losing right. that slot. Which I think is the right thing to do, because how much is Art Hungry really able to do when his teammate is offstage? He can tack on as much damage as he wants, but his teammate is getting pushed into disadvantage. He'll have to target switch a lot. They really won't be able to wrap up their kill, and I think that's one glaring problem with this kind of team synergy right here, is that I don't think they know how to finish their food too well. I, w I was just going to agree with you right there. With, with Fox offstage, um, against two characters, she can't really do much to secure that kill. And Fox takes so long getting on, uh, back on stage, like I was saying previously. Um, our Hungry needs to go for those hard double jump reads right there, which is good, and it still didn't yeah. end up with a kill. But with Fox on stage, we're going to do a lot. I love how, how well Jackal has been tracking on. Even if his teammate's going to die, he's knowing that he's going to take that trade and follow up almost immediately. He's, he, he's a heat-seeking missile with that up air. Yeah, All right. definitely. <laughs> Grabbing his teammate for a little pep talk real quick. He's like, get your head in the Huddle in, Come dude. on. All right, I'm going to grab him here. We're going to do this. All right, ready, break. And I think that's exactly what we need to see from Red Team. We need to see them um, have that little moment to themselves and say, hey, this is to get into top eight. We need to shape up that's right That's awesome. It's quarters right now. So. Yeah, this is going to go two out of three. The thing, the thing is, Fox acts best as a disruptor, but Sheik also acts as an amazing disruptor slash support character itself. So with this kind of team comp, it can work. It absolutely can 100% work. But you need to be aware of everything that's going on and make sure that you can guarantee a kill for your teammate. They're really not letting Rafi, Ralphie breathe right now. 76%. Yeah, he was no. off stage for most of that stock. It's rough. It, it, Fox has a very specific dynamic in teams, and that's why a lot of people used to sleep on him a ton. I think Light really, not to, not to say it, but brought to light how the potential of Fox in teams. Oh, definitely. That's not just a metaphor. Yeah. I can tell you that much. He definitely <laughs> showed us what this character can okay, do. Okay, all what right. That's some doing? interesting stuff right there. I mean, it worked. It was technically safe against uh, a yeah. My man hopped out of the verse and got back on, and Jackal actually ends up SDing there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Wow, that's yeah. really unfortunate. He up aired right before he got to the ledge, and he uh, couldn't grab after that. That's really unfortunate. Wow, that amazing air dodge. That was yeah. great. My man's looking like Mission Impossible right now. He is trying everything while Blue Team just wants to get this stop off of Ralphie. Once they do that, it's going to be a lot smoother for the blue team. It's also a little harder because I feel like a team like this would work really well off of grabbing. And I know our hungry is probably aware that she can, she can Sonic are fairly slippery characters and grab. While grabs can be a thing, if it gets too obvious, it can really cause a detriment. Uh, Ralphie, right before the end of that sock, he was trying to go for another fair. Um, and it could have changed up uh, the dynamic of this entire set, but oh my God. we're just going to see Unknown and Jackal show how well they actually do to this game. And I don't, I don't know if Unknown and Jackal team too much, but they are both very skilled players, and 
But, I mean, just look at this. They're getting those hits. Like, most players in a 2v1 situation would kind of stress about how to wrap up that kill, but they are locking down so much of the stage that R Hungry literally has no room to breathe. Yeah, R Hungry, this, this, these two teams at ledge, or these two players at ledge, are absolutely terrifying. So once they get put together, I'm surprised he even touched the floor right there. Yeah, to be seriously. Honest. He's trying, though. R Hungry desperately trying to. If he can take that stock off of Jackal, it might be looking a bit better. I think this is the, the really hard part. Um, you never want Sheik in the 2v1 situation. Yeah. She, she can rack up a lot of damage, but she can't kill. She has no... She, she's relatively honest when it comes down to ceiling stocks. Um, Oof, that could have been a grab. And he's... Oh if, my God, grab. If Ralphie was in this 2v1 situation, Barefoot still still a thing, and then he yeah. just has to rely on Techie. That's true, actually. Who has the more potential to take that stock quicker? Exactly. And Sheik, she, Sheik is pretty honest. I won't yeah. lie. She, she gets her kills. You know, she works really hard for a dollar. She's, she's the employee that, you know, doesn't get paid the most, but it still puts in that work. In that 1v1, she has this amazing broken frame data, which at that point, honesty is questionable. But in One definitely in the double situation, she's just honestly a great character. Yeah. But in 2v1... It. No, it's not if you hit Jackal awkward. somehow. Yeah. I guess he was too close. I mean... She can't kill. Nice. Okay, okay I like that a lot. Yeah, he knew. I mean, <laughs> you're in a finite state after that bouncing fish happens, so all, all Unknown had to do was just capitalize. Well, um, I don't know. Th I could be wrong, but our hungry possibly? Let's see. I feel like he could have clicked A faster. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I think, he, I think he, needed, he maybe had one split second left before he was able to act out of yeah. that. 